Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem called transfiguration. So, uh, transfiguration means that okay let's read the question so uh, there's a professor mcgonnell he teaches transfiguration at hogwarts she has given harry the task of changing himself into a cat so she explains that the trick is to analyze your own dna and change it into the dna of a cat the transfigure spell can be used to pick any one character from the dna string remove it and insert it in the beginning help harry calculate minimum number of times he need to use the spell to change himself into a cat so uh, this is all a very very fancy story so the question is very simple it's a easy level question okay so uh, ignoring the fancy story which is of course very creative let's come to the question so the question is very simple see uh, you have a string a which is let's say geeks for geeks a uh, very good way of promoting their website but that is what it is their website so their choice of words and then you have uh, another string b for geeks geeks right so can you first of all there are two questions that you have to answer can you convert a to b okay first of all can you convert a to b and how are you supposed to convert if you can convert then the second question you need to answer is you have to convert by moving one character at a time and placing it in the front let me repeat by moving one character at a time and placing it in the front can you convert a to b let's take example to understand so let's say you have r right now if you place this r if you take this r if you lift it up so let me lift that r and let me place it in the front okay so this r which was here i am taking it and i am placing it in the front okay i have placed this r in the front okay now same way what i do i take um this o i take o and i place it in the front okay i take o and i place it in the front after placing r i take o and i place it in the front similarly i take f i take f and i place it in the front okay so let's see that again i take f i take f and i place it in the front so what do i have now now i have something called for geeks geeks that that is what was my string b right so i can do i can convert a to b what was my a a was geeks for geeks a was geeks for geeks what i did one by one i took first i took the character r and i placed it in the front then i took character o i placed it in the front then i took character f and i placed it in the front after doing three operations after doing three operations i am able to convert a to b right so my answer is 3 but how do i know if i am able to convert or not okay first let's discuss if i am able to convert then what is the trick the trick is very simple right so just start from the end okay just keep a pointer i let's say that's a pointer i and we start from the end okay. let me keep a j pointer here so now see okay so let's look at the original string original string is geeks for geeks and the string that is given to us is for geeks geeks right so now i and j both pointers are comparing and giving us the same s is equal to s so we can just shift those two pointers right so i will just shift my two pointers i will move i i will move j okay i will move both i and j now i come at k and k again they both are same right again they both are same so what i will do i will just move i will move i and j again okay i will move my i and j pointers again now where is my i and j it comes to this again e and e are same right so i will again just move my i and j pointers again they are same so i will just move my uh, g and g pointers okay now now what happens in the original string the original string is geeks for geeks right now when i come to the i pointer my i pointer points at r my j pointer my j pointer points at s they are not equal they are not equal that means i have to move the character r to the front okay so i will keep a note if they are not equal i will move the character r to the front so i will keep a count variable i will increment count because now they are not equal while they are equal i don't have a problem but when they are not equal i have a problem i have to increment my count okay that is a simple trick so let's say i incremented my count that means i have taken care of this character i have moved it away okay i have moved it away so now let me come come to my i here now i am looking at o i am looking at o here and my j is still s again uh, o is not equal to s right o is not equal to s that means what that means that means 
that these two characters are not equal that means i have to increment my count i have to move o to the front i have to move o to the front if i have to move o to the front what am i supposed to do i have to increment my count so i will change my count my count will become equal to 2 and i will increment i now my i is pointing at f i is pointing at f and my j is pointing at s again they are not equal that means what that means i still have to move my i i still have to move i so i will move my i i, I mean uh, i i will i will move uh, the character f the character f to the front and i will move i will move my i pointer and i will increment my count to 3 so now my i is pointing at s i and j are equal right now again i and j are equal that means i can move both i and j so the trick is very simple whenever both characters are equal you don't have to do anything you don't have to increment count just keep moving i and j again i and j are equal right k is equal to k so what you will do again you will move i and j again you will move i and j so whenever i and j are equal it's very good you can keep on moving i and j so again we can see that i and j are equal so again i will keep moving i and j again i will move i and j until i reach the end of the string after this there are no more characters so that's it my count is equal to 3 okay so this is how we are going to just check so it's very simple if the characters are equal if characters are equal in that case what you have to do do nothing basically you have to do nothing you have to sit silent just move your pointer do i minus minus do j minus minus okay if they are not equal if they are not equal then what you have to do then you have to increment the count because you have to move a character also decrement i okay that's it that this this simple line is the entire code okay this simple line is the entire code if the characters are equal do nothing just do i minus minus j minus minus okay if the characters are not equal in that case increment your count because count is your answer and move i pointer that's it that is the answer now how will you check if it's possible because it's not always possible let's say you have a string a b d right okay let's say you have a string a b d and let's say you have another string let's say dbc now you can never convert a string to the b string you can never convert no matter how many times let's say you move d to the front right uh, after this what after this you will be left with dab and here you will be left with dbc okay here there is a c so you can never if you don't have a c here no matter which character you move from a you can never convert it to b right if you don't have a c how will you bring c if you have a c at least you can try to jumble it and misplace it or do something but if you don't even have a c how will you do it so if you can't even convert in that case in that case you have to return minus one so let's now let's okay let's discuss the code part of this so first we have to check whether is it even possible is it even possible to convert a to b how are we going to check so if it is possible to convert a to b right the characters at least the occurrences of character should be same that means here let's say g is occurring two times right so here also g should occur at least two times because if a has to become equal to b somehow okay that means that at least the character should occur same number of times so one way to do that is let's say you store in a map that g is occurring two times and then check in b also you store in a map g is occurring two times and then compare the map values but this is a uh, approach which requires a lot of space complexity right so to uh, solve it in a better way a very interesting and simple way to do that is take a simple variable okay sum and now iterate over string a and b so for int i equal to uh, 0 i less than a dot length i plus plus okay so what i will do i will just add the ascii value of the characters of a and i will subtract the ascii value of the characters of b okay now in the end in the end if my sum in the end if my sum is not equal to zero okay that means that somewhere some characters are different see if i am adding the same number of characters subtracting the same number of characters after all the operations my sum should be zero if if the characters are occurring same number of times for example s is occurring one so one time i add the ascii value of s 
in b i subtract the sk value of s so if all the characters are occurring same number of times and all are same characters finally the sum by adding and decrementing the same character should be zero so if sum is zero we are okay but if sum does not equal to zero that means that's a problem we can simply return minus one so this is the checking condition so we can just check whether is it even possible to convert a to b or not okay now if it is not possible we can simply return here itself but if it is possible then we can use our approach which we just discussed okay very simple two pointer approach what we did we started one pointer at the end of string a and we started another pointer at the end of string b and what we did we were just comparing okay let's discuss again what we did so i i is starting at the end of a j is starting at the end of b so first we are comparing whether s and s are equal they are equal so let's move forward now i pointer moves here j pointer moves here k and k they are equal so i pointer moves here j pointer moves here they are equal i pointer moves here j pointer moves here i moves here j moves here okay now i moves here i is pointing to the character r but j is pointing to the character s they are not equal if they are not equal what are you going to do you are going to increment the count and move your i pointer next time compare o and s o and s now they are not equal again increment count move i compare f and s again they are not equal again increment count and decrease i so i is pointing to s j is pointing to s both are equal so now do nothing just move i and j and so on okay this was a simple approach so let, let's see that code for that very simple so while i greater than equal to 0 and j greater than equal to 0 just do as we discussed very simple if a of i not equal to b of j they are not equal that means what that means you have to increment count count is your answer so just increment count okay and reduce i else reduce both of them that's it and after these lines of code what is a simple thing return count okay that's it and we can submit and see if it's working so it's working thank you for being patient